I love it here. I'm really safe. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it smells kind of rank, and we're gonna have to scrub it forever, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's peaceful. I can get used to it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like... What was that? What did that sound like to you? I think someone's outside. What should we do? Shh. Something. And I think it was that guy, Zorro. The raccoon. Yeah, he looks like he's searching for food. All right, well, I don't want you feeding him. Well, we have some crackers I can give him. No, no messing with the balance of nature. Come on, I don't want him moving in. Oh, jeez, don't you think you're overreacting? I mean, we haven't even been on one date yet. Huh? Oh, right, um, a joke. I'm just, I remember. Yes, was... you could have fooled me. I... I'm sorry, I guess I'm just still pretty stressed. What did you think was out there? Honestly, my head went right to Adam. <sighs> All right. Once we get to Canada, you're not gonna think about him as much. It's not really the geography, Maddie. It's what we did and uh, how we left him. You know, we were wrong and we know that. I know, but nothing can bring Adam back and nothing can change the way that he died. When we get to Canada, though, I want to make up for what I did. Maybe help people study to become a nurse or something. Yeah. There will be new people with new names. Exactly. We can start fresh, and maybe even one day you can make a new demo. I don't think so. I can't really change my voice, but I can still write songs and have other people sing them. That could work. You'll be doing something you love. Anyways, the most important thing for me right now is that I'm free and that I'm with Will. And I promised him that we'd get this place clean, so I should probably start with mold. Hmm. Wait a minute. Mold. Oh, is this a... Oh my gosh, is this a bed frame? Yeah. Uh, there's a mattress in the back room. It's probably been there since the Civil War, but... No, it doesn't matter. It's awesome. If we can put it together, that means one of us, or two of us, uh, can actually sleep in a real bed tonight. Yeah, that should be new. Hey, listen, before we start this, it's getting cold in here. I'm gonna go grab some logs. Okay, fine, uh, but no detours and, you know, no play dates with Zorro. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> oh, that's actually so good. No thanks to you or Maddie. And then you saw her? Yeah. Yeah, Maddie and I, we already had our little reunion. I wouldn't get my heart set on that firewood if I were you. What does that mean? What did you do? Tell me. I did to her what she did to me. You hit her? Now, to be more precise, I hit her on the back of the head and watched her fall. Oh, God, Ed. Sir, it is so touching. Only problem is, you're not going anywhere. speak to me about Will. He spent five minutes mourning me and then hatched his big romantic scheme to lead you off into the sunset with all your troubles behind you. How do you know any of that? Well, when you're dead, it's pretty easy to eavesdrop and play mind games with cell phone, flowers. It was you. I did see you in front of my car that night. The thing is, you couldn't be too sure, could you? Guilt can really play tricks on the mind, can't it? Did you enjoy torturing oh, me? Oh, I'm not done yet. I want to see you uh, break. Haven't you seen enough? With that branch in my face and my ring back here in my house when Will was gone. 
Yeah, you can't be busy. And, and all this time, I thought it was my... Who? My mom. <laughs> Irish doesn't even know I'm alive, but you played right into her hands. You confessed, and she played the con right to the end. You know, your mom's a pro. Watching Will sign over his trust fund, it was priceless. What do you want? I want to see the look on Will's face when he walks in here and sees us together. I just don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. What did you do to Will? Let's just say he won't be coming back to the honeymoon suite. No, he just found out about what happened. He wasn't a part of it. Yeah, he's a part of it now, isn't he? He's putting miles in between you and that grave site you dug for me. Okay, okay, I get it. You, you've come, you've come for payback. So why don't, why don't you just call the police? Okay, why don't you just get it over with? No, I'd rather keep this between us how it belongs, at least for now. Okay, then, then just let me, please, let me just check on Maddie. No, 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 no. The cold ground was good enough for me. I'm sure it's just fine for her. Please, Adam, please, you're better than this. No, your snotty little friend is the one who needs an attitude adjustment. She actually believed I could hurt you. I believed it too. I mean, you just set up your brother to look like a thief. You can't blame us if we didn't exactly feel secure around you. All I was trying to do was get a head start before you ratted me out to my mother and brothers. It wasn't my job to bust you. So you weren't going to turn me in? I wasn't going to let Will go to prison for something that he didn't do, but I was going to let you own up to it yourself. <laughs> you went postal on me. You were all over me. And when Maddie saw you, she thought that you were trying to hurt me. It was just a split second response. She didn't hunt you down. Oh, you mean, you mean like I'm doing? I'm not sure what you're doing. You haven't told me. No, I forgot how well you play innocent. Is that why you thought you could get away with it? Leaving me out there to rot? No, no, we didn't know that you were still alive. Do you have any idea how lame that sounds? Yes, and I, I take it back. We both take it back. We know that what we it did doesn't even horrible. begin to cover it, Gwen. When you came home and you washed off the mud and the blood and you crawled into bed, I came too. Only I woke up in total blackness with all that dirt pressing down on me. Yeah, I died there. I couldn't breathe. I could barely move. And I had to figure out how I got there. And you know, that's when I wish that I had been killed. No, 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 don't say but that. Instead, Nobody wanted that. Instead of lying there, letting myself die, I crawled out. When I finally got up, when I could see the moonlight, I sat there. I sat on my own grave, thinking. Why didn't you go to the hospital? There's so much to explain. Hmm. You know, the last thing I remembered was arguing with you. I thought, oh, it couldn't have been Gwen. Gwen wouldn't leave me out here to die. And then I remembered hearing a voice. It was, it was Maddie's voice. And I thought, yeah, it had to be her. Because Gwen, you and me, we, we mean too much to each other. You, you must have gone for help. And, and when you came back, then, then I turned myself in. So you just waited? Yes, Gwen. I waited a long, long time. And then I saw something in the dirt. You know, if the moon hadn't been so bright, I probably wouldn't have seen it. I picked it up. It was a ring. It was your wedding ring. And that's when I remembered hearing another voice. You were saying to Maddie, use your hands. You were showing her how to bury me alive. Here, you'd given us a sign if you'd shown us your life. I'm sorry. Then I thought of how much I believed in you, how much I loved you, how I wanted to share my life with you. Think of that, Gwen. Imagine that. The person you would do anything in this world for, and she's burying you alive. As much as I loved you, I knew I could not let you get away with that.